on our cards it says the you know West Texas is only contemporary art house and we have a lot of untraditional art we have a lot of modern and abstract art and when people decide to have an art gallery I don't think they're going to look at the dynamics of plain view and go hey it'll work right there however it works I really think that this rural setting you have a lot of people here, especially our young people, that have grown up in an area where there is just broad sky, lots of land, and they're not really engaged, for the most part, in a whole lot of technology. And so they're left with their minds to think and to create and make up stories and draw. And in that kind of setting, you have some things that could be latent and I found from the tiny children of four in pre-k all the way up to the seniors a real high talent level and they could express themselves very well through the visual arts. We've been able to draw out some people that have been here a long time and behind me you see the works of Joseph Garnett who grew up here. We have Betty Givens who passed away a year ago and she was a fantastic um, local Plainviewin that I don't know that we all really saw the treasure that we had in her. We plan to have a celebration of the folks that are here that have contributed to this, this town and this area with their life and their art or their um, literary works and those things are important. I had uh, a mother and son come in and make an appointment to show me their work and this young man had a body of work that had been primarily painted in his in his bedroom. I, I was just thrilled to be able to have wall space and studio space and be able to offer hey look you know <laughs> we have this place and um, this is what we're here for. I've been making art pretty much my whole life. I've been painting just started about this summer. My art teacher at House Center just inspired me to paint because I've been drawing and doing cartoons and stuff. And I just decided to paint like a kid instead. So that's, I think it's more fun than what I would have been doing too. I just learned about Jean-Michel Basquiat, which is probably the best artist I've ever seen. His stuff was like a kid too, and so I thought, oh wow, I could do this. After I read the comic book series Scott Pilgrim, that inspired me to make my own style of cartoons and things like that, and then that just developed all the way up to, and I still put my characters in my paintings too. I listen to Macklemore and Ryan Lewis and fun while I paint too. So that inspires me. I've actually done paintings of both of the groups, too. I'm really glad to have a show this early, too, just like a couple months in, already having my own show. I'm always going to be an artist of some sort.